Hey Cancer, it's about that time for y'all love reading. It's about that time. This is for all placements of Cancer. So, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, Mars, all of that, all of that. I just uploaded Gemini. So, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini love reading is up on my channel. Along with your financial reading for September. So, it's for the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, make sure you check out your financial reading for September if you haven't already. Make sure I like this video, please, and thank you. But this is going to be your love reading. This is going to be all about you and your person. Now, let's say you're not dealing with anyone. This is going to be about the person that's on your mind. And if you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box. And if you'd like to tip your girl, I have my Cash App and PayPal in the description box as well, so you can do so. I'm going to get started on your reading. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. So, Cancer, what's currently going on in your love life right now? What's happening in your love life? What's going on? What's going on? Give me a little backstory. Big luck and occupation. Okay, so you're getting luck in your love life. I feel like, although, you know, I asked what's going on in your love life, this is more financial to me. I see that you're going to get a breakthrough within your finances. Um, if you've been waiting for a settlement to come, if you've been waiting for some type of check to come in, it's going to come in soon enough. If you've been waiting for a new job or to hear back from a job, you will be hearing back from that job soon enough and you will receive luck. Um, now regarding your love life, I honestly feel like your person may try and spoil you. I feel like your person is going to try and spoil you. I feel like your person specifically, this is for some of y'all. They either just got hired recently for like a new job and they're making good, good money and they're going to spoil you. If that's not the case, then they're making another source of income. Whether you know it or not, they'll be making another source of income and they're going to use that income on you or, you know, just share some of it with you, whether it be buying you a gift, taking you out, actually giving you money or, you know, doing things around the house, paying for things. Um, but definitely luck is coming through. Luck is coming through. That's good. I feel like your person is going to be giving you money, though, or splurging on you some way, somehow. If you see smoke, it's from my vape. Smoke my vape. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's dive right into it. Cancer, what's your energy towards your love connection or your person? Once again, if you're not dealing with anyone, then this is the person that's on your mind. But what's your energy towards them? What's your energy? Seven of Swords, you don't really trust them. You don't really trust them. You feel like something is going to come to the light soon enough. I feel like... Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm getting different storylines. Now, one storyline, you don't trust your person and it's causing you to want to be single. Now, second storyline, you don't trust your person, so it's literally causing you to be a little thought that. <laughs> it's causing you to, you know, go out and flirt, go out and mingle, go out and, you know, see what's out there. Like, it's causing you to be on some, okay, you're not being faithful, or I don't think you're being faithful, so I'm not going to be faithful either. Honestly. I, I just see that you don't trust your person, and it's either rushing you to live the single life, or to dog your person out basically <laughs> uh, let me get clarification on the seven of swords <laughs> let me get clarification on these seven of swords okay tower reverse yeah some type of truth is going to come to the light and it may cause you to basically give your person what they gave you like i don't know why i said it like that it, you could have for some of y'all, you could be finding them on an SED, but I'm not going to go that route. Um, that's for some of y'all. But when I say give them what they gave you, I meant like give them a taste of their own medicine, but that sort of came out wrong. Um, but yeah, I feel like some type of truth, that tower card reverse lets me know that for most of y'all, that truth already came to light. That truth already came to light. Right? So now it's causing you to, okay, I'm going to be single or okay, I'm going to cheat on him or I'm going to cheat on her. 
Um, for others of y'all, the truth is going to come to light soon. And um, yeah, it's going to cause you to either cheat or live the single life. Leave this person and be single. Clarification on the Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's like you're deciding, okay, I'm going to open different doors. I'm going to pursue different options. With that world card, you see she's pregnant. Not to say that you're pregnant or you will be pregnant. It's a possibility, but I don't see that happening. I see it more so, okay, I'm going to go out and venture off. I'm going to go out on vacation and I'm going to see who I meet. I'm going to, you know, just try new things. You're going to open up to new things, new opportunities, new possibilities. Like I see that. Whatever truth that's coming to light, it's going to cause you to literally decide, okay, I'm going I'm to try new things. I'm going to do new things. I'm going to try new things and call it a day. Alrighty then. Okay. What is the mutual feelings between Cancer and this person? What is the mutual feelings between Cancer? You could be dealing with the Scorpio. The death card came out reversed stars at the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an aquarius what else is the mutual feelings hermit came out virgo energy i see that you two don't want to end things i honestly see that you two don't want to end things with the death card reversed five of wands reversed y'all don't want to fight y'all don't want to argue y'all don't want to stress about things like i honestly see that you two really don't want to end things at all like you two you two want to stick things out but you just don't want drama but with the hermit card, let me get clarification on the hermit, especially with the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's like, maybe it's best to just walk away. Maybe it's best to just let things go. Yeah, y'all are feeling like it's best to not work on things anymore. And not to say completely end things, but y'all may feel it's best. Okay, we need a break. We need a break. We need to, you know, let this temptation out and then come back together. Like, I just see that you two don't want to end things, so it may result in a break or you two don't want to end things and it's just going to result in deciding, okay, we actually do have to end things. Like, this isn't really working out. I just I just see Hermit clarified by the Three of Pentacles reverse. You two are going to decide to go back into y'all shows and not work on things because it's not really working out. But like I said, it could either be a break or it could be mutually deciding, okay, no, we're just going to break up completely. But I see that you two don't want to end things, especially with this Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You two love each other a lot. You two are sexually attracted to each other, physically attracted to each other. Y'all think y'all are, you know, like gorgeous and handsome. Like you two are very attracted to one another and you two have a lot of passion towards one another. But, you know, whatever happened or is happening... It's happening, or it happened. <laughs> okay, so Cancer, I was about to say Taurus. Cancer, um, what is your person's energy towards the connection or towards you? What is their energy? Wheel of Fortune reverse, Queen of Swords, they actually want to cut you off. Let me find out you're the one that was creeping, Cancer. They want to cut you off. I feel like, okay, let's say they're the one that was creeping and you found out. They're being, they they taken a, a note from the narcissist book <laughs> and it's like, they're trying to blame you. They're trying to cut you off. They're trying to make it seem like you're the one to blame and they're trying to play victim, even though they know they're in the wrong. For So, so it can go either way. Either they want to break things off with you because they feel you were the one creeping, um, whether you were or aren't, you know, they feel that you were the one creeping. So it's like, nah, this chapter needs to close. This chapter needs to close. I'm cutting this person off. If they try and come back around, I'm going to deny that offer. Um, or it could just simply be they're trying to play victim. So it's like, nah, I'm going to cut this person off. I'm going to play victim. I'm going to cut this person off. I'm going to make it seem like they're at fault so they can chase me and they can try and make things right. Even though I'm the one that made things wrong. It's literally their way of trying to have you like beg for them or try and make things right. Basically, it's their way of trying to have you forgive them without actually forgiving them because you're not really going to forgive them. Let's say, you know, they are being narcissistic and they're sitting there playing victim, even though they cheated or even though they lied, they're playing victim. It's like, OK, they're playing victim, right? But they know they're in the fault, but they're not going to admit that they're going to play victim. So you can sit there and be the one to put in effort. So you can sit there and be the one to, 
try and make things right. So you can be the one to sit there and apologize, even though you didn't, you probably didn't do nothing wrong. You know, it's like, that's their way of, yeah, I don't want to lose my person. I still want to be with my person. Remember, that's the mutual energy. Um, you two don't want to end things. So they don't want to end things, but they're not going to admit their faults. They don't want to end things, but they don't want to be the one going the extra mile to make things right. So they're going to make you go the extra mile to make things right. And they're going to seem like they're denying that offer. And at first, they are going to deny that offer. They're going to deny. You see her looking the other way. You see her not even paying attention to that angel, to the cup, no nothing. But eventually, they're going to accept that offer because they really don't want things to end between you two. This person ain't shit. I don't like this person. I don't like them. I don't like this connection either. You don't want to lose this person, I understand, but maybe it's the best that you lose this person because I don't like this connection. I don't like this person. I don't like the vibes of this connection. I don't like what's happening in this connection. I don't like it at all. So what's the outcome between Cancer and this person? What is the outcome? What is the outcome? What is... Oh, okay. Two of Pentacles, y'all are going to make a decision. Two of Pentacles reverse came out. Y'all are going to make a decision. What decision are they going to make? Y'all are going to make a decision and stand on it. What decision are y'all going to make? Let me get one card. Clarifying the Two of Pentacles reverse. Let me find out. Y'all are going to make the decision to stick it out. Let me find out. Y'all are going to make the decision to stick it out. Let me get, um, what's... What's the outcome of this connection? What's the future? Let me find out. Let me find out y'all gonna try and make things right. Listen, if y'all could make things right with one another, shoot, go for it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Unbreakable bond. I'm here for it. That's good. But if you feeling like it's not gonna work out and you sitting there trying to make it work out, don't be boohoo crying that it's not working out. Do not be boohoo crying that it's not going to work out. Because the outcome is literally you two making the decision to grow and expand with one another, to fix things, to give love, to um, nurture the connection. King of Pentacles, you know, King of Pentacles is all about stability, all about security, all about wealth even. You two are going to try and make this connection stable. You two are going to try and fix things. This is the last straw, though, with the Nine of Wands here. This is the last straw. But you can see this person is using the wand to, like, hold their self up. Y'all are going to try and hold this relationship, connection, situationship together. Once again, good for y'all if y'all could pull that off. Like, I'm here for it if y'all could pull that off. But if you really feel in your heart that you can't pull it off, don't waste your time. Because it's just going to be more hurt. Because it's like, damn, I could have been left. But I tried to make it work and now I'm even more hurt because I could have just been left. Listen, don't, I don't know. If y'all could pull it off, then cool. cheers to y'all. But if y'all can't, don't force it. But that, that outcome is literally you two trying to make things work. You two are trying to nurture the connection. You two are, are trying to fix the problem. Which is good if you both are actively trying to do that and not one or the other. It's good if y'all both, and it may work out if y'all both try to, but if you feel deep in your heart it's not going to work out, then don't force that shit to work out. All right. So I'm going to go in with the Oracle deck that I created, which you can purchase through the link in my description box. It's the Mass Feelings Oracle COVID-19 edition. So keep in mind that the cards are, you know, Corona themed. So what is it, Cancer, that your person wants to share with you and tell you that they don't feel comfortable sharing? Ah! All right, four cards came out. I'm going to take off four. All righty. So let's get into it. First card. I didn't know who to choose. This Your person may have been the one that did cheat or did lie or whatever the case may be. They didn't know who to choose. They didn't know who to go after because they thought you were using them. They thought you were using them for their money or for what they have or whatever the case may be. They thought, they thought you were using them. So 
that could be why they were dealing with someone else because they they felt like you were using them so it's like fuck it all right just in case they're using me let me deal with other people but yeah they thought you were using them and now they wish things were different and they don't know what to do next because they wish things were different they wish things didn't play out how it did they wish you know they didn't think what they thought like they they don't know what to do next they want to make things right and they wish that things were different but they don't know how so that could be why they're trying to play victim so you can make things right they feel like you know what to do they feel like you know how to make things right so they're gonna play victim so you can sit there and make things right you know what i mean jelly bean which is pretty toxic but hey if it works for y'all it works for y'all but i hope you guys enjoyed this reading make sure y'all like make sure y'all subscribe once again my cash app and paypal is in the um description box but yeah if you guys can make things work i'm here for it but if not like i said if you feel deep in your heart it's not gonna work out then just go with that gut instinct okay but thanks for watching you guys make sure y'all subscribe and like this video please and thank you bye